Welcome back, Texas Rigged. Hey guys, we got a special one for you. Um, for a while now, ac actually ever since you saw the video of me hunting armadillos at night, I was using my um, SIG Cross in 308 for that. While I was walking around seeing the destruction the 308 was doing, I was like, man, I kind of need something smaller. Just a walk around rifle that I can hump small compact that I can put in my pack or just, just simple with the sling walking around the woods and this it cross is good don't get me wrong it's great it's lightweight couldn't ask for more only thing is I wanted a smaller caliber and then my buddy Artie as y'all saw in that video he had the six millimeter arc so it got me thinking it was like an elf owl six millimeter arc and it was really lightweight the caliber was pretty much spot on but not, I wasn't too sure about the six millimeter arcs being that it's pretty much a newer type round. So I got to thinking, man, I need to, I need to build something lighter or a smaller, well, in that case, lighter weight rifle and a smaller caliber than the 308. So I started looking around and asking a bunch of guys, you know, what they think. And I came across the XLR Industries chassis. The one that I came across is the uh, Magnesium 4.0 chassis. That thing, from what I could tell, is amazing. I don't know the specifics on weight, but I believe the rifle is only two pounds, two and a half pounds, something like that, as far as chassis goes. I'm going to drop in a Remington 700 in 223 in it. Um, and here in a bit, I'm going to show you all the different components that I'm going to put onto it to become my new... Uh, small caliber hunting rifle. So, as y'all saw in the delivery, we got our XLR chassis in the mail, finally. So they have a 25 week wait time. And let me tell you guys, I ordered this January 26th of the beginning of this year and I got it July 29th, 28th, I believe. Um, six months pretty much is what it took. Um, well worth the wait. I did contact them and that's just what it is. They're just so busy. They're being, they're more and more popular. Y'all should check out their website. Definitely. Uh, they got some amazing pricing for what you get, but, uh, we're going to go ahead and open this chassis and take a look at it. So let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. We're using the trusty spider coat. If you're looking for a EDC carry knife, this is a, a good one to use. Let's see what's in the package here. So we got some foam that we don't need. And then we got the stock nicely packaged. So we got the stock. And we'll go into detail on exactly what I ordered. And it says, look, parts inside. I ordered a couple extra goodies uh, for this build. So we don't need the box. We got some buttstock installation, but it, the buttstock already came uh, pre-installed. So don't need that. And we got the folder. And these are the instructions for that. And just some more information. Oh, it comes with an adjustable magazine well. We got a thumb rest. Uh, looks like bolts for the to attaching the action to the chassis. And I ordered an M-Lock adapter for Selene. All right, so we got the Magnesium 4.0 chassis. Get y'all a little close up here. It is the C6 buttstock. It's their newest bot stock. It's fully adjustable. Got thumb screws for the length of pull. You got a screw here 
for your cheek rest where it's lower the padding let me tell y'all guys this thing is super comfortable it gets your cheek even if you have a beard like me and you can see it's stamped xlr right there and i got the option here they have a long length of pull folder and a short length of pull you have those options that it's nice easy little press and just folds into a nice little package overall like so um it does come left and right handed for the, your bolt throw and they got a little plate that you just replace put in there and they have screw holes here so you can put for example your thumb rest that i ordered here either left or right it comes with a bubble level right there. Um, and then here's that adjustable magazine well option there. All you do is screw, unscrew that a little bit and then you have the option to move this up and down the little thing. And what I love about this guys, is that they have the, the precision shooter and hunter in mind with this stock. Being that it's rugged, it's made out of full aluminum. They put the magazine well or the magazine release nice and tucked in on the trigger guard as you can see there it does not poke out at all i really like that feature because when you're humping around in the woods or your pack things get caught very easily very nice feature but this thing very lightweight um and i also opted for the od green cerakote you can get it in black a little bit cheaper i believe um and it's not very much more to get it um cerakote comes with that arc rail system and it also comes where you can insert weights there's screw holes here so you can add weights or even add weights on the sides if you wanted to but that's for the precision rifle shooting competition type stuff and kind of not into that yet we'll see maybe one day but yeah so this is going to be our build unfortunately i cannot show you the actual build because of youtube rules but I'll show you the parts that I am going to put on it, and then I'll show you the aftermath of what we, after what it looks like. Yeah, so stay tuned. We ordered a Hoptic USA scabbard for 223. This goes on the uh, M lock on the handrail. We are going with a vertical grip from MDT. We're, I've never had a vertical grip, so we'll see how that feels on the on the wrist but from the way i shoot i feel like it's gonna work we are going to mount a day optic and the thermal and for my previous builds i've always used larue La for their uh picatinny rails you know for the scope mount um so we're going with that and this is a uh, for remington 700 short action and i believe there is 20 moa on this and we're changing the trigger out to a 517 V2 Elite Hunter from Timony. I've had nothing but good luck with Timony. And it happens to be OD green as well. I didn't know that. Actually, I kind of didn't even think about that until it came in the mail. And to press to suppress this rifle, of course, if you don't have to suppress it yet, make sure it happens. If you live in a state where you can, I'm sorry, but hey, Texas is Texas. Uh, we're going to use the Thunder Beast Arms CB brake. I went, usually, there's if y'all have seen my other videos, I use with the basic, no fluting or anything like that. But you'll see why just here in a minute, why I went with the fluting option on the Thunder Beast. You can see there, the fluting. You'll see why here in a bit. Uh, I ordered a couple of MDT223 magazines. That's what the rifle takes. And to mount, as you all saw in previous videos, I'm using the American Defense 80 Recon right here. Guys, this is repeatable zero when I take it on and off the rifle, no matter what. It is just, it's just amazing. I didn't show in a video, we hunted some pigs. I took a buddy out. I had just taken off the thermal and slapped on my day scope. And the minute I did that, a pig just came out of the wood lines and boom, we took it. Um, 
repeatable zero. I didn't even take the time to make sure it was set. I just slapped it on where it's marked, squeezed it down, and took the shot. It was amazing. Uh, and then for our day optics, we are doing the Vortex. I love Vortex, as y'all know. Uh, PTS, PST Gen 2, uh, 3 to 15. Uh, I've always been in love with Vortex. They make good quality scopes. I've never had a problem with it, but that's what we're going with here. So for the rifle we're gonna put in, I was thinking, I don't know if I should do like a custom action and all that, but then I was like, you know what? It's a hunting rifle. It's not gonna be used for competition or anything like that. So I just went with the uh, Remington 700 SPS Tactical in 223. Comes with a threaded muzzle here. It comes with a bull barrel, 16 inch. I wanted something small, something lighter, lighter weight. And the reason we went with that flute uh, for the compensator, you know, to attach the suppressor is because we are going to be using a fluted barrel or a fluted bolt. And yes, if you're wondering, I make sure everything is loaded and safe. So I contacted Camp, Camp Field Customs they're out of Idaho. He had, here in my Dallas area, all the gunsmiths here, they overcharge. I like to support small businesses, but they're, they're way, way, way too expensive for half the price, including shipping. Campfield Customs, and I believe Carl's his name, so if you ever need to contact him, he his email communication is awesome. I mean, he gets back to you within minutes. It's amazing. We went with a spiral fluting there and we did a spiral fluting on the bolt knob there she is guys a new Remington 700 SPS tactical and an XLR chassis check it out Thunder Beast suppressor Bipods with the Atlas quick detach mount. Vortex optic, American defense. Scope mount, quick release. Optic USA quiver. Custom bolt. MDT pistol grip vertical. There she is. Man, this, this rifle feels really good. I haven't weighed it yet. Oh, and I put the trigger in. Uh, it's at a three and a half pounds, I believe. Super smooth. Weapon is clear. Just to make sure. Uh, but nice, crisp trigger. Beautiful. Um, haven't shot it yet, obviously. Can't wait to shoot it. We are going to need to set up a, a range day to set it up and uh, we'll see how it shoots. I have the Remington 700 SPS Tactical in a 308. I haven't shown the channel that rifle. Um, it's a really nice stock. It's the USMC M40 version with the Macmillan stock. Um, one of these days I'll show it, but that thing is, that thing shoots dimes easy at a hundred yards. Um, so the idea behind this rifle again, I have a quick detach mount from American Defense right here. The idea is to put my Pulsar Thermal here. So you just quick detach there, slap the, Thermal on. Boom, just like that. Pretty simple. Feels good. But yeah, there she is. Looks nice with the thermal. Tell you what, guys, let's get some uh, sweet, sweet succulent. Be rolled on this beast.
we're going to zero this. Day scope, 50 yards, then 100, and I'll set the zero at 100. We're trying to get on paper at 50, then we'll switch to the thermal and shoot 50. Just keep that, you know, in a profile, and then the 100 as well. So, let's see what we get. And Juan is here, so ejection is really important. Yeah. This gun is worthless if it doesn't eject far enough. So hopefully we uh, don't disappoint. It's all in there, dude. It's a nice shooting gun. Let me put one in. It's starting to get real blurry. As we are all zeroed at the uh, 100 and the 50 on both the day scope and the uh, thermal, as y'all saw, this thing's shooting pretty good. Um, it started to get a little warm out on the thermal, so it's hard to get a real good grouping, but it's there. It's going to kill a pig or if we take it deer hunting or whatever we decide to do. But uh, this build was fun. Um, I believe it's going to help me kill smaller game uh like armadillo raccoons i mean it's gonna kill pigs you know good place shot anyways i don't care what everybody says uh any bullet's gonna well any practical bullet will kill a pig so but as y'all saw we got the vortex scope we got a custom bolt bolt knob we got the flash uh hider here to put take on the thunder beast suppressor xlr industries the magnesium 2.0 super lightweight the only thing that gives this rifle some weight is the barrel in itself the remington 700 barrel puts a little bit more weight but that's to be expected um as many times as i'm going to shoot a thicker barrel is always better but yeah so we got like i said the xlr industries chassis if you're interested you go to the website it's it's amazing it's it's amazing what they came out it's super accurate 
And if I can get Juan's approval, that means it's good because he's very, very picky. He wasn't very excited about the uh, ejection. He's got an FN and that thing will eject about a mile. He likes to actually shoot and hit people with it, but it's whatever. We can't all be like Juan. But anyways, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions, hit me up on the comments. Until next time, Texas Rig. He just ejected one. We'll see you later.